We're going on an adventure. It's an adventure day, y'all. Woohoo! So I don't really get out of the house much anymore, if that's not obvious by my videos. And the other day I ran out of my favorite lotion by Aesop. It's this one right here. It's the Rejuvenate Lotion. Absolutely love it. And I'm out of it. And that's the only one I like to use. <laughs> so I thought, let's just go visit Aesop today, but let's make a day out of it. So the Aesop I like going to is in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I haven't been to Williamsburg since the last time I repurchased this lotion. So let's just make a day out of it. It's supposed to be in the 60s today, really nice. I thought we'd go to a couple thrift stores and there is a furniture and home decor store in Williamsburg called Beam that I really wanna go to. Go to a couple cute coffee shops and we'll just make a day out of it. So we are going to Williamsburg today. I hope you are ready for an adventure. First stop though, I need to drop off a Poshmark package at the post office. Say that five times fast. We're gonna get some coffee or like an iced chai or something. Then we're gonna take the train to Williamsburg. So let's get to it. It's gonna be such a fun day. I'm really excited. All right, I'm actually leaving my jacket in my apartment because it's like 60 degrees out already. So a t-shirt will do just fine. We just got out of the first place. It was called The Attic. Had some really cute things, but I don't know. That's the thing with New York vintage or thrift shops or whatever. They're very overpriced, especially when you're in a place like Williamsburg. It just, it's kind of ridiculous. So didn't pick up anything. Honestly, wasn't that impressed with their selection either. It, it was just very much like curated Goodwill vibes, which I guess is what a vintage store is. But yeah, wasn't impressed. So now we are on our way to a place called Awoke Vintage and we'll see what they have for us. Hopefully it's a little better. <laughs> Literally just lost an ear pod. Okay, I'll see you when we get there. Nothing in there either, but the store was really cute. The little shop owners were really sweet. Um, yeah, cute little place. Now it's time to go to Le Labo, and then Aesop, and then 
we're done. No, we're not done. We have to go to Beam. Don't forget. I just had my first Le Labo experience. That was so fun. The gentleman in there was so nice. His name was Roy at the Williamsburg Le Labo location. So if you're in Williamsburg, go say hi to him. He was so helpful and what a great experience. I got three fragrances. So I'll show you guys when I get home. Three fragrance samples, I should say. Not the full size, <laughs> but that was so fun! Okay, now I'm off to Aesop to get my lotion. The whole reason I wanted to come to Williamsburg today, so I'll see you when we get there. So that was a little bit of a fail. We went to Aesop and unfortunately they are completely out of the lotion that I was hoping to get, but that's okay. I'm just here at Domino Park right now, which is absolutely beautiful. It's right by the Williamsburg Bridge. And so I thought I would show you the fragrances I got at Le Labo. So first up is Neroli 36. This smells so good, so springy. I'm trying to see if it has a description on it. No description of the fragrance, but I would say it smells kind of like orange essence. And then I was told it has hints of like watermelon in it too, which is really cool. I got Centaur 33, which was one of their classic fragrances. Smells very good. And then vetiver 46 so love these it should last me a good while because i don't really wear fragrances um, i'm pretty migraine prone and so they are not a common thing for me but thought i would try it it was fun to check it out i've never been there before really it was not impressed with the experience at asap today super chaotic energy and just not what I'm used to from there so that was pretty disappointing so I think I'm just gonna end up ordering online which that is fine too but it's been a good day so far really loved my experience at Le Labo and yeah I'm just hanging out at the park right now it's absolutely beautiful out today and all of Williamsburg is out and about which is really fun so I'm gonna hang out here for a few more minutes and then we are going to head over to Beam and then we're gonna go home should be a good rest of the day. Thanks for hanging out. Just look at all of these testers. I have to have like 20 testers here.
and I'm back and I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of walking for someone who doesn't exactly leave her house very often. I'm back. I wanted to do a quick little haul of everything that I got. So I showed you guys my little Le Labo samples that I got. Here they are again. Really, really cute. I'll show you what they look like out of the little packages. This is what they look like. Very tiny. <laughs> very, very tiny. Very tiny. But, I mean, it's an expensive brand, so whatever. Got these. I got a little pack of Chinese matcha because I am currently out of tea. I don't really drink coffee anymore. I try not to. And so um, I just thought this was cute. There are lots of little individual packets in here. I don't know how many, but yeah, matcha. <laughs> and I got something from Beam. The final store I went in, the little home decor store. Really, really cute. Very mid-century modern and trendy and hipster. I'd expect nothing less for Williamsburg. So I got a candle from them that I have been wanting to get for a while. It's the Palo Santo candle from Brooklyn Candle Studio. They have been sold out of this on their website for a while now, and I am out of all of my favorite candles. My previous favorite one from Night Shift Wax Company was discontinued, and it is completely sold out like everywhere, which really sucks. <laughs> uh, so I had to find a new candle, and I love Palo Santo. My previous roommate at my last apartment was a big fan of Brooklyn Candle Studio scents, and I was able to smell a couple of them when I lived with her and they have a really good throw to them. So they are very pigmented in scent, if that makes any sense. And I love, 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 love Palo Santo. So I'm really excited for this one. And yeah, that's my little haul from Williamsburg. Didn't get anything at the thrift stores um, or anything like that, but I wasn't really planning on it. And like I said, did not get my lotion from Aesop, which was really unfortunate, but all of the other experiences today were really good. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I absolutely love going to Williamsburg. It is probably my favorite part of Brooklyn. Um, it's just so trendy, very hipster. It's a fun place. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel below. I post a lot of fashion and personal development type content. And every once in a while, I throw in one of these New York City vlog type videos as well, because I want to make the most of it while I am here. So with that, you guys, like, comment, subscribe below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.